So welcome back to Janky AF. Here we have this 2003 Jetta, which we was just featured on uh, Every Car is a Great Car, and this car has actually just sold for uh, $1,000. A welder is going to buy it, and he's going to do some repairs to the underneath, and uh, so that's great. The, the Jetta lives on. I'm so happy that it was sold and that it'll go to a new home uh, owner instead of being crushed or, you know, left in a field or something like that. So just goes to show you every car is a great car. Now here we have the Transit that was also featured on the channel and that's just got its orange wheels on for the spring. Fantastic. Now the project of the day is going to be this 1987 Chevrolet Astro Tiger Pro Van. This thing is janky AF, truly. And uh, we're going to paint it and... Uh, <laughs> oh lord. So there's going to be a view, review of it obviously, but we're under kind of a time crunch, excuse the shadows here. Um, so we got a little bit of um, this uh, Sherwin-Williams beautiful DTM bonding primer. This isn't even oil based if you believe that. And then we just have a series of uh, uh, exterior latex paints that I've collected over the years um, from customers who didn't want them. And um, Todd and Jack, his uh, partner, are going to be traveling this van. Now Jack, she drove this car all the way across the country once already. And, and amazingly, the only thing that went wrong was the diff gave out. But they were able to find one in the junkyard. Great story. They got it back. There's Todd. <laughs> just went to the DMV to get a bill of sale to sell to Jetta. So, uh, we're going to do it a quick paint job. Unfortunately, we're not probably going to get to all of it because they're leaving imminently. And, um, you know, time being what it is, we got we got to get something on it. We got to paint it. It would be a janky no thank you if we didn't have a little opportunity to paint it. This thing's been painted several times. These are kind of cool, actually. But um, this is just like, like I was saying, it's kind of looked like someone took a duty after they ate a lot of beets. And um, we're going to try to rectify that and just spruce it up a little bit, give it some little sprites, stripes. See, it has this great tiger. I don't know if you can see that. So we're going to try to bring some of the original elements of the vehicle back to life, give it some luster, give it some uh, jankiness. And, you know, it's it, after a, a little while, it'll probably develop a patina. But I always say the patina is just like painting with sunshine, you know? Um, so it'll have a very janky, wonderful vibe. And we can do it quick. We can do it cheap and we can make it look way better than it does now. So that's what we're gonna do, janky do thank you. All right, so just give you a little play by play. Here we are, I, I wanted to etch out and hand sand real nicely the original Provan logo there just for a little provenance um, and keep some original elements. And now we're just sanding everything down, doing it super janky with just a sheet of sandpaper, 80, 120, something like that. You could do an orbital random sander, a random orbital sander on here. And in fact, Todd did on the other side, but for all these grooves, I was gonna have to do getting every single one of those little grates and grooves. I just used to, you know, easier to hand sand it. And then those surface areas aren't that big around it. So I just went ahead and hand sanded it and you kind of make sure you get everything. Here's this great janky panel. The window got broken into in the back and then in the side there, because someone, I guess, couldn't get what they wanted to. I love this little scene here it's almost like the introduction to the tv show king of the hill if you've ever seen that with music playing you can imagine it seals are shot on the windows we're just going ahead and sanding everything now we're just wiping it down real quick and uh that's it So we're going to give her just a quick wipe down i sanded the whole thing uh yesterday or all the parts that we're going to do right now and um just wipe it down, get some of the loose dust off, give it a minute to dry in the sun, and then we're gonna use that DTM primer from Sherwin Williams, which will hopefully be a good, you know, bond coat. Um, and then we're just sort of gonna improvise on the, the body of the car after that. Like you can see all that dust coming off there. Um, so yeah, Todd's partner, Jack, she drove this thing all the way across country. Todd bought the thing um, several years ago, and it's more or less just sat. And I think he bought it because I think, you know, and if you are a Tiger Pro Van enthusiast, please chime in here. There's a real history behind these cars. I think they're pretty highly sought after, especially in, you know, the Pacific Northwest. Um, and of course the Astro is sort of a, you know, dualistic partner to the Ford Aerostar. They're very, very similar vehicles in terms of being sort of uh, utilitarian vehicles, very versatile. They offer all wheel drive, which a lot of vans didn't back in the day, but they're sort of a, you know, hybrid between a passenger and a, and a cargo van. 
So I've always liked the Astro. The only thing I have, have against the Astro really is that when people talk about Aerostars with me, they call them Astros. They misidentify uh, the uh, Aerostars Astros. Sometimes they'll even call them Astro Stars, which is a real funky sort of like hybrid situation linguistically. Um, but I've always loved the Astros. I think they actually beat the Aerostar to the punch in terms of uh, coming out with their vehicles. I think they came out in 85 or 86. Uh, maybe even 84 and the Aerostars of course came out in 1986 um, but uh, we'll talk more about the the sort of pro van uh, Tiger conversion here Todd knows a little bit about it hopefully he can give us a tour of the vehicle and tell us about it somewhat but uh, we're gonna keep on cleaning up this uh, dust and then we're gonna get some primer on there it's gonna look great all right so here we are priming I had to decide what I was gonna prime and what I wasn't so I decided to kind of take everything from the cab backwards but I want to do that one strip around there. there's Todd sanding off the uh, residue of the duct tape there and uh, you know just gonna brush it on real janky it's a DTM uh, direct that stands for direct to metal primer I believe it's uh, it's, it's not oil based and it's not acrylic urethane but it was a good product it's kind of kind of pricey at Sherwin Williams but um, seems to you know it goes on really nice and creamy it's easy to work with um and you know we're just cutting everything in like you would a bedroom you can see that seal slowly starting to fall off that's pretty janky af left the door handle um and uh you know hey well make janky af so as you can see we have it primed with the dtm primer didn't take too long uh, wasn't too bad and as uh, Walter remarks it already looks like a new vehicle so really happy with these bumpers really happy with sort of cutting out around stuff that's already there to give it some contrast just to begin with and uh, the door is a little tricky but uh, and then wrapping around the front and these little side panels so even though we're not doing the whole thing you know it'd be great to do the whole thing maybe if they bring it back cross country or maybe I go out to Portland uh, I'll paint the rest of it sometime but you know it's kind of nice to keep some of the existing stuff there they do have this Chevy logo so just a little check-in we're going to uh, put a finished coat of white on that'll be our base and then over that we'll do sort of all the, the areas that are going to we're going to do some stripes here we're going to try to fill in the tiger pattern want to give a uh, give away too much but um there you have it so let's keep going janky do thank you all right i thought it'd be nice to just paint this little uh molding here gold just for some effect something different you know i have a very similar molding like that on the x19 and it's got some gold accents that look nice so went ahead and did that before we start cutting everything in now we have our uh finished paint it's just a sherwin williams super paint it's just exterior paint in a standard white color had some lying around you know so we're trying to do things uh you know cheap and efficiently uh reduce reuse recycle and all that and that's all janky do thank you so um it's gonna it's gonna take a couple coats here you know you're going over a dark color and the, the, the material just needs to build up having a great conversation with walter here um and then this when you're doing little stuff you have to cut this stuff in a million times the paint just doesn't cover on these tiny brushes so that's the fine detail work janky af Okay, and welcome back to Jinky AF. So we got two coats of white on. We got this nice gold strip here that's looking really good. And that'll add a little continuity to the old paint job. Um, kind of tired of uh, painting white for today. So maybe we'll get into some more fun stuff. Anything that's gonna be stripes and stuff, we'll kind of have to wait till the third coat. But anything that's gonna be completely uh, with a color that's not white, we can start doing. So I'm gonna do some nice sort of like railroad locomotive stripes here. I'm real excited about that. So uh, let's do something fun, shall we? Janky do thank you. All I did here were the rulers. I just measured out seven inches. Every seven inches I would start a line and then I started in the corner, seven and seven, and that made, you know, a right angle. And then I realized with the math that it's five inches uh, between each lines on a, on, you know, on a perpendicular angle. 90 degrees so you just trace those out with a ruler real quick and again it doesn't have to be perfect but it's still going to look really good it's really close and you get the bottom of that body sort of bend so you kind of have to like trace your pencil over the ruler in a janky sort of way but i thought it actually came out looking really good um, and it really didn't take that long so i have these uh you know just latex exterior paint that i bought for something else these are kind of the janky painting colors um be sure to go ahead and subscribe to a janky painting too on youtube and uh boy i really like this this locomotive you see it on you know emergency vehicles and stuff like that uh 
there's something about the stripes and the and the horizontalness. I don't know. I just just an aesthetic I've always been into. I've always loved trains since I was a kid, so uh, I thought it looked uh, really nice. All right, it's getting a little bit late. The skeeters are starting to come out. You know, that's the one thing that's too bad about summertime. It starts getting nice to get all excited, and the skeeters start nipping at you. But you know. That's all right. Uh, I got a great start. I'm loving these stripes. They came out almost better than I than I had even anticipated. Um, and then probably got to do another coat of white here tomorrow before we can do all our little stripes. It'll be pretty, you know, modest and tasteful on the side here. A couple stripes, a couple little tiger things. Um, but really happy with progress day one. Gonna finish it up tomorrow. And then uh, hopefully with any luck, uh, supposedly they leave in Saturday for a month, so hopefully we can get it for a little road test uh, before they leave because uh, I'm very eager and anxious to drive this great thing. So uh, that's it for now, and uh, we'll keep on trucking, no pun intended, and uh, get her finished up. Janky do thank you.